All right, everyone. Today we have a really cool car, a 1985 Honda CRX Si. This one's all the way from what? Texas. Texas. Yeah. Texas. How long has it been in Canada for? Uh, Ten years. So tell me a bit about the the outside of the cars. Okay, so the wheels are uh, Mugen CF48s. I do have the discs, but you never use them just in case you lose one in traffic or something. So they're just for shows. Optional front lip, which is part of the Aero fog light kit right from so this honda. is this is stock this That's, is like this is a, a factory optional piece from honda from back in the day and the other item you might be interested in is the Hugen Burbank, which um, i've only ever seen one other one um so that's an incredibly rare piece but it's totally fitting very cool i like the interior too it's i've never even seen one of these in person like or been in one the seats are out of a 88 CRX. They share the exact same seat pan. Uh, so all you do is swap the rails over and they're a nice upgrade. But everything else except for the shift knob and steering wheel is factory. And the ECU. The, the ECU goes under the seat. Yes, it does. Very cool. Yep. One of the coolest things is the check engine light. Let's see if we can show it. It's a PGMFI like chip. So this one's not stock. Nope. You have swapped in a 98 spec Type R engine. Yes. And which transmission are you using? I'm using an S1 SIR B16, uh, B16 transmission. B16 transmission. And how this swap works is through Hasport. So this is a Hasport engine mount kit? Mount kit and drive shafts. Cool. And the wiring harness is um, a rye wire unit. So they, was it like pretty much plug and play? Pretty much, yeah. That's cool, yeah. The end, you can see down here how, how it mounts very differently. And it's super tight. So you're running, uh, engine wise, you have what? Skunk 2 intake manifold. Skunk 2 intake manifold. Stock five, throttle body. Yeah, stock throttle body. Cus it's got a 5 Zegan header and uh, an 8 pound flywheel. And that's it. And then a set, custom center line, stainless steel exhaust. exhaust that I'll show you in a bit. Uh, so, custom 2.5 inch all stainless steel exhaust with vibrant parts done by center line. Apparently, these tips are off an Acura MDX. But yeah. Super nice job by Centerline. All TIG welded, all stainless steel with vibrant parts. Two and a half inch with a cat. And uh, what was the header? Five Zegan. Five Zegan header. Um, right now it has a fuel, aftermarket fuel pressure regulator. These ones are so problematic. We're gonna switch it to a stock one. And it's a chipped ECU, right? So yes, we're gonna tune that and see what it makes.
all done. So pretty good results for this basically stock Type R. Uh, what do we end up with? Originally, uh, put down 185, but the tune was, it was just a chip. So the chip was way off. It was super, super lean. Anyway, so cleaned up the tune, moved VTEC. VTEC is now at 5,000. I believe it was at 57 before. So we basically picked up like, how much? 160 to 175, 15. We've basically picked up 10 to 15 horsepower basically everywhere. So huge gains. Went from 185 to now 204. And torque wise, it was at 127. We're now at 138 peak. So big gains should, should feel amazing in this super light car. So yeah, good tune and uh, turned out well. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks.